the leader of the Christian Muslim Advocacy Initiative, Prophet Iwu Jideogu, has said that God revealed to him that the presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, and the former governor of Kanu State, Senator Rabi Kwakwasa, would be Nigerian's president come 2023. I just people in this country loving, united, than every other tribe. So at the end of the day, that's where I'm approaching. God became angry with them. You know, um, the Israelites, we are the chosen people of God. God loved them so much. But not and when they sin, they will not be punished. If you were somewhat I read Quran chapter 2, verse, you read Quran, chapter 2, you read there, verse 1 to 2. Tell you that these Israelites are the chosen. God preferred them than any other nation. But still, God punishes them because we are okay 50, 60 years ago. But we are type of man like that. Changed completely. And God reacted. He told me to go and tell them to go back where they used to be before. Or else they will face extinction in this country. That's a message from the Almighty. And that made me to move from start organizing conferences from Port Harcourt, where I was living. I was at Heartland FM, Heartland FM Radio, Issues of the Moment, for six months. Every Thursday I used to be there, talking to Debos. I moved to Nubu. At the time I came to Lagos, I was in Debo. These tracks are printed about 3,000 copies. There's an invitation here. 3,002. Debo, God said this one got a small two. They will chatten have a move food at the game of I remember the song my mother used to teach me in those. It's a popular song. If you are born about 60 years ago in Ebola, you will know it. Anywhere Ebola's gathered, they will sing this song. Ndibo Ibu Chine Kokurugene, Gemwene Chozo Tinerem, Kokurugene, Gemwene. So Ndibo don't add another God to me. But today I don't know why you say it. And God became angry. He said, the only way you can please you is to go back to your culture. And this is Torah. Torah is the covenant of men with Israel to Moses. Honestly speaking, 80% of culture practiced in the land before Christianity came, till early 70s, they are all written here and practiced the way it is. But today, people might say it doesn't believe in culture. You ask him for my say, God, you are washing. Then what are you going to do? When you don't have culture, how are you going to exist? Culture is identity. So when I was battling all these problems, I was still thinking about Nigeria, not only Ibos. But one in particular of it about Ibos, because I'm an Ibo man. If you read the Bible, the book of uh, Matthew 15 24, Christ said he was sent for. To only for the type of uh, Israel. You read the Quran 14:4. That's what they call Ibrahim. Quran 14 is Ibrahim. Uh, what they said, Allah sent it, not a prophet, except the one that speaks the same language with you. A Yoruba man cannot be a prophet, Yoruba man. Neither will Yoruba man go to Yoruba and say, want to be a prophet. No, 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 no. You will be a prophet to people. Then you can still extend if the need be. So, I now keep on wondering, I said in the 60s, I was pulling out the worry. I came to, used to come to Lagos, I used to go to Kaduna in the 60s. He said, how life used to go today, no more things, industries are dying. Why? The idea of establishing a Chokuta steel plant was to make use of the Takwe Ayon steel oil. That's Ayon part of Takwe. When, after analyzing that ion ore, you discover that the, the, the concentrate of sulfuric acid is high. How are you going to reduce it? Then take scrap. If you take all this motor scrap, mix it with ion ore, it reduces it instead of importing ion ore from Brazil. Thus, the Itakba ion ore, Itakba um, Ajokuta steel. But today, where is that steel control? Where is the Joss steel rolling? Where is the Shobo? Where is the Warren steel company? 
Where is the casino? Where is the wise team? All these things are closed. Where is the other one? Thanks, Oh, you can't here in those days. We see in those Why are they collapsing? In the 70s, you go to Barodan, Sayu. Sayu Rido was at the Barodan. JVC, here in Lagos. Phillips, here in Lagos. Where are they? Because of corruption. That's why those industries have died completely. We have the highest uh, pepper mill in this country in the world. We have it, uh, 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 Okiboku, a Bible, pepper mill. We have uh, the one at uh, after all in the border. You go with, you go to Jeba. There are big pepper mills. Where are they? Because of corruption. And God is not happy. And Nigeria, you are saying today, has the highest number of churches and mosques in the world. Yet, Nigeria is the most corrupt country. Why? God, why? He says corruption. You have bad leaders. 2014, and April precisely, the Lord revealed to me the only leader, the only person that can rule this nation, and the nation will smile. He said, he mentioned a man from Canada. He said, like, you give me an example. I said, Maybe it's this one person that's talking about. In all fairness, as I speak to you now, let heaven witness me. I've not seen one person in my life till today. I've never met him one of one, apart from television. Oh, it was then I went and greeted this, I say 2014. The first this thing here is righteousness makes a nation great. Righteousness, uprightness, obedient to the moral law. It is what will make Nigeria great and not crude oil. I said here, even if Nigeria is poured 5 million crude oil at one, 1 million dollar per barrel, Nigeria will be still poor. We can never be a great nation because of corruption. The second one here, the second one here is uh, Boko Haram. It's for a purpose. Because of Nigeria corruption, Boko Haram is there for punishment. I told you that time, I think I wrote my letter before this. I went to Mina to see the governor who was then the chairman of the governor's forum to play with him, tell Jonathan, don't declare war against Boko Haram or else they will mess Nigeria up. Nigeria had most brilliant infantry soldiers, but can't stand Boko Haram. God is behind him. If you like, Open your Bible, read Amos chapter 3, you read 6 to 7. You see that God can do anything. When he's angry with you, he can do anything to destroy you. The book of Amos chapter 3, read 6 to 7. Now, the other one, one Igbos are the cause of their problems. But Igbos has 10 years to change, the other they go into extinction. They will go into extinction. Because Igbos has all the most righteous people. I will tell you what made us like to be righteous in those days. The last one is that Kwan Kwasu is the man that can lead this nation. Kwan Kwasu is the only politician that can listen to you. You know, the best respect you can give someone to listen to me. No matter even if you lie, listen to him. Then you decide the same letter, whether you take what he said or not. No other politician except Kwan Kwasu. Don't say anything. They can say this, yeah? That's my message. And um, I want to let you know what made the command to be a righteous man in the past. That's something I'm having with me. I'm not talking about Shango and Madhu and now. Amadu is one of it. Shango is not one of it. The cotton god of thunder like me. People used to fear them. But you must fear. Them. People who don't fear cannot be a righteous. He does say to the Bible, God, come and swear, I swear by Almighty Allah, I swear by God, the blah, blah, blah. It is not killing anybody. We'll swear, finish, and go and do whatever we want. I've never seen anybody. This is Bible, Jerusalem Bible. This is Quran, Muslim Quran. I've studied all of them. This, what I'm holding here, who can tell me about my head? Do you know what this is? This is your fault. This is your fault. I can put it in my pocket. What is your fault? Let me read the word of what this is. The meaning of fault. The meaning of fault. Of fault is. 
Alpha is the central symbol of Igbo spirituality. It is a sacred staff of authority, an emblem symbolizing the links between Chukwotike, the creator of all. Chukwotike is our creator. We call Chukwotike, like when you back up the Lord Mary, beneath said of Samofra. I got to go to Gala today, they say, Ojo Gabu Gabu, that is their supreme being. Yes, he said Chukwotike, the creator of all and man, the dead and the living, the living and the unborn. Of all symbolizes justice, righteousness, and truth. As I'm holding this offer, I will stand before you before the book and say, as whatever we are in. I say that so far is in this my hand. Any day, as I'm holding this offer, I will steal. Any day I'll kill a fellow human being, any day I'll sleep somebody's wife, any day I'll tell lies or do anything contrary to the norms and values of Ebola, let me die with yourself. And people will say, so be it. That's why in Ebola in those days you see some righteous people. There are righteous people. Even if they give you a drink, you drink in the night. You think you don't know what happened to you? Oh, today you should know this or so. They say you are not going to watch it. Please write it down. The book of Numbers, Bible, Numbers 17, 1 to 3. You see your four there. Or four is staff. Or four is rock. Psalm 23, verse 4. David said, Thy staff and rock comfort me. Even if it's in the shadow of Staff and rock. The application of four, four, you will see it in the book of Deuteronomy. Write it down. Deuteronomy 27. You read verse 19 to 26. Your four holders in that community, they have a duty to do to play. And if you're a foreman, you say I trust man. I blessed all my thing that I recently I've seen as our people. They have all moved everybody in this number. They gather in the community. Put in a white and uh, red white uh, white shirt. Red cap. And no white cap. I saw also group people too. Three days ago, I saw kidney people that said they can't feel. Without us, we can't feel the new. You can't feel. You will kill your brother. You will be brave. So that's exactly what makes people like us. Go back to it. If you are talking of Amadio, Amadio is when somebody has committed, you go and call the brother, come and fight him. Like the one they call that over now. They have started catching those who kill the church members. They have said, yeah. Africa is full of spirituality. That's why when white people can come, they will carry our shirai and ironic. So that is my message. That Nigeria must go back to, you know, to the root, the truth of the matter. Go reveal to me that problem of Nigeria is Christianity and Islam. Thus, I registered this and a Muslim peace and focus 2015. This is not a mistake. A letter I wrote to Buhari asking him, please organize Christian Muslim conference. Let me speak to them. Through this program, through this they are then we'll get peace. We'll know this. And when we know the peace, we our property. Buhari replied me to Nairek. Nairek called me, Nigeria religious, and they called me and I went. They gave me, I said, what is this? When are you organizing conference? Religion is going to put us in trouble. Religion is the cause of immorality in this country. Religion is the cause of hatred. It's a cause of violence. We can't continue. We've been existing before religion came here. Why are we there? They came with this. Immediately I went and that camera letter, submitted it to the uh, uh, secretary to federal government. Look at it. Then I replied myself by the agent. I ran the I said I'm looking for a conference. Christian Muslim, come, let us dialogue together. If you read this Quran, there are places that say don't kill. There are places that kill. So when like this, you go the place that kill, you understand kill. They are justified by God. You read this Bible, it will tell you you must prepare to be a righteous man. There are places that say don't prepare, you will be a righteous man by faith. And Christians will go and look for that one. You can't be a righteous man by faith. You can't obey. You must obey. So these are things the Lord has revealed to me. And I'm starting doing my best to see that we can get people listening to me, to what God told me. 2015, each of you will get one. About God, that's 
Like I said, up to now, let the thunder, let the heaven. I've not met one person in my life. But you cannot hide the message given to you by your mind. You can't hide it. I don't fear evil, right? They hated me today because I said, go back to court, otherwise, go into a station. I lost all my friends. I lost them because they want to hear court. I don't know how many years do I have to stay now? Sometimes people pray and thank God for being a judge. I tell you, I'm not happy being a judge. They find work and find a time. Being a lot for you. You can work and do it to quit the Supreme Being. And the prayers of the gods. You know, people misunderstand the gods. We have Supreme Being, we have the gods. Our ancestors go to, to, to the gods. If you call the gods, the body will do wrong. They will fight for you. If you, the, the, the gods will contain the supreme being, and things will be normal. Tell him that we are suffering so much. There is hunger in the country, in the country because of that petty that shit. Are you not aware that somebody stole 80 billion to 200 billion? When people are like, how many of you have to this? Do I have 80,000? Somebody steal it, save us a bite. The other lady I know, uh, 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 Aziza, stole one hundred and six something people. But uh, when I went to Zaria this year, I, was, I, I, I appreciated it. She used the money to renovate every second school and primary school. You see, Muslims still for, for humanity. But our own people here are still for their own family. That's why they said Allah will forgive when you do a charity. She believes she has done a charity by using the money to provide for the people. Allah might consider her. So it's left for me and you now to say, Lord, we have suffered much. The measurement of your faith determines the level God believes you. If he said no, he said no. It's just like my friend by my left. He said he doesn't want to gamble, gamble into culture, but he does not have culture. That's a problem. We must deal with it. Like I said, 80% of Hebrew culture is written here. And if you read Quran chapter 5, verse 14, he said that, uh, that Jesus didn't come to have only the law, he only come to. Go, uh, uh, to go and break the law. You understand? And the Koipo culture is, is here. So you can't use because of Jesus now, you will now abandon your culture. You run into trouble. Uh, so last year I was at Holy Palace. So we met, we met, we met yeah. So many of them. Now they are white here yeah, and the, 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 the white car. Then you know oh, that when Jesus came, you did not abolish your back culture. If you if Jesus abolished other people's culture, not your back culture. So continue holding our culture. Yeah. I can see that what the problem religion has caused. About Islam and Christianity. Let me start by saying that um, Prophet Ubu, who has just spoken to us now, actually uh, is not much known to me. But ever since I came into contact with him, and listening to the gospel, he is preaching. I begin to look at him twice, particularly with reference to the cassette he has shared, which he produced far back in 2014, telling Nigerians that God has already made a revelation on who would um, reconstruct Nigeria in the person of uh, Alahaji Rabiu Bonpaso. You may recall that actually Bonpaso contested for presidential election in 2014. And um, according to the news, the contested along with the Buhari article under the APC platform. What we were told then was that he came first in that primary, primary election, but he was ripped out by the powers that be. Now, the same form Kwasu is coming out again, but by the grace of God, on a new platform called New Nigeria People's Party. 
Interestingly, the same Obu who is with us now is still going about telling people, if only they can listen, that the person to follow is one person. But be that as it may, it is left for us, the special members of the press, to help in propagating this prophetic revelation by who? All I know is that even in the Bible time, a prophet is highly disregarded. Especially when that prophet is not saying what the people were itching to hear. The moment the prophet is saying what people are not itching to hear, they will forget that person. And that seems to be what is happening. But that, whether you listen or, or not, whether we listen or not, the prophecy, if it is true, will surely come to pass. That's one thing about prophecy. Once God makes a revelation, a prophetic revelation, whether the people take it or not, whether they believe it or not, it must come to pass because God has already said it. The Bible said that whenever a word comes out from God, it cannot go back for it. It was fulfill that assignment. By extension, I want to appeal to all of us who are here present, especially the young ones, that this is the time for us to change the scenario, the political scenario. By, by cutting the hegemonic existence of the old parties. They have not done us any good. Nigeria has continued to degenerate from bad to worse. And now I don't know where to worse now. Nobody is finding life easy in Nigeria again. And I have said this thing often and often again. That until we begin to have a change of attitude towards politics, we cannot get it right. Some people will tell you that it does not matter, that your vote does not count. Who told you? It's not true. It is not true. Now we have become wiser than ever before. Nigerian youths have become wiser than ever before. Nigerians as a whole have become wiser than ever before. It has got to a point that we must arise, we must get up from our comfort zone in order to change the political equation. So I advise that we have to run it around one person. Good enough, our prophet said they have never met him. They have never met him. But because God has, has revealed this to him, he is going about propagating God's revelation for people to listen, for people to comply, for people to obey. So I want to, to support NAPP in order that we will have a new political revolution in Nigeria that will usher in the dreams of the present age. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. We came to him since 2014. And that was when we met the cassette 2015. 2014. 2014. 14 years. What I want to say is this. When God speaks, it is left for us either to obey or to disobey. Because the first law of God is trust. In the garden, after God created Adam and Eve, He told them, this, the fruit of this tree in the middle of the garden, do not eat it from that tree. And he said to them, the day you eat of it, surely you shall die. They are free to eat it, and they ate it. They choose to do that. So when you look at Nigeria today, all of us, we agree that we are far away from God. That is the truth. There's no person, any person that is saying we have God, is just the same himself. 
and it is our disobedience to God, whom we preach every day, that today you can see all the uh, punishments, a land so blessed, yes, we are suffering. If you are working to travel out of this country, you see the level of suffering that we are suffering in this country. So for me, I still believe, I don't want to argue anything, but I know that the moment Nigerians begin to have the fear of God, through through in their hearts, truly in their heart, they fear God. God will have mercy on us. But as we continue to believe that through religion, you know, going to church every day, going to mosque, that we are dear to God, that is a lie. And that's why you see corruption everywhere. So it is left for us. We can still say, God, we don't want to obey your prophet. And we do whatever. We can vote for Tinubu, we can vote for Obi, we can vote for any other person. But I think what God is trying to tell us is that one person is the man that I have chosen for you. But you are free. God doesn't coerce people. God doesn't constrain people to. Yeah, he doesn't compel people. So, but he has done his own deeds because the Bible says that if a watchman sees more coming. The prophet, who was speaking during a press conference, said, though he has not met Kwakwasa for the first time before this revelation, but that God has several times told him that a man from Kanu will become the president in 2023. Joy in Amunan, CBED TV.